Still, this is a 2004 KFX 700 Kawasaki. Right there. We're doing a 2007 KFX 700. Same exact unit, same motor, same everything. Um, and I figured why show the same video twice on two different units. So, here is where you're gonna fill your oil. So I already pulled the dipstick out. I actually already pulled the drain plug as well because the battery was still low. This one is super easy. You can see there's even a nice hole right in the skid plate for it. And I believe that's a standard skid plate because both machines have it and I haven't added anything to either machine. And your filter is right there. So all you're gonna do, same thing, is take your bolt out, clean your bolt. I already took the washer off of this one. We're gonna put a new crush ring washer right here onto that so that it's new. And they're supposed to only be used one time. So, have a new washer on there. Everything is clean, as you can see. We're gonna wait for the oil to drain out, which looks like it's just barely dripping right there. And again, this is a 2007 Kawasaki KFX 700 automatic. So, I don't think they make like a 700 in a clutch. The clutch, I think, is their 450 model, so. But then we're going to push the pan out of the way. We're going to grab our rag just to clean. You can see what I'm doing right there. We're just going to clean that hole off. Make sure your washer is not on there. Then you're going to insert it. Right there. I always start it by hand first so you don't cross thread anything. Perfect, right there. And this wrench is a 17. On here, you gotta tighten that up. My hands are nice and oily. And that should do it right there. And then back over here. And I already broke this loose, so I cheated. So I didn't have to do it without the camera or with the camera in my hand. And again, you're just gonna undo that one. Make sure the rubber gasket stays on the filter side of things. See, why do you gotta bring this into the shop to have them do it? You can do it, it's simple as that. And I let the filters drain out before I pitch them in the trash. So right there, the O-ring is off of it. We're gonna let that drain for a fuzzy time and then uh, we are going to wipe it down before we put our new filter onto it and same thing over here you're gonna take your filter this is every filter that you should do this to I'm gonna actually hang up the camera real quick so you can see We won't edit that out. That'll be fine. It's very soft music in the background. So you should take your filter and you're gonna dip your finger into some fresh oil and you're gonna lube this right here. So I will do that right now. The reason I'm using a gallon jug is because I got two ATVs to do and each ATV takes two quarts. So I can just split it in half. Otherwise, the small ones are easier to work with. So, just like that. So that's it. We'll go 
go put this back on. We'll clean off where this goes and then install it. I'll clean the air filter, which cleaning the air filter is pretty basic. I don't think I need to show that on camera. Um, yeah, hit us up in the comments if you need to ask a question about it or anything like that. I just go to the local dealer, get all the actual Kawasaki stuff. I know some guys go to O'Reilly's or your local auto parts store. It saves maybe seven, eight bucks. So I kind of figure it's not really worth it. I call up the local uh, Fay Myers here in town and just go through it and um, they give me everything I need. So why bother? So, and you're keeping your local, your local dealer happy versus big corporate chain. So um, that's it. Hit that subscribe button if you like what you saw. If you have other tutorials, we could show, you know, oil changes eventually on the excavator. I could do skid steers, light maintenance stuff, um, trailer greasing, trailer. I need to actually change my plug here because it's getting corroded. Um, we can show that kind of stuff. But, yeah, that's about it. So, have a good day. Take it easy.